Welcome! In this video, we will look at the process of GSTR2 reconciliation using TallyPrime Release A. TallyPrime provides a simple mechanism to reconcile your GSTR2 transactions with the transactions uploaded on GSTN portal. It identifies mismatches and enables corrections in your books. After cross-checking with the data imported from GSTR2A, you can mark the status as accepted, rejected, pending, modified, and so on. In order to start the reconciliation, you have to first download GSTR2A in JSON format to a local folder from GSTN portal. The file will be in zip format. Do not unzip it. Open Tally Prime and select the company to do GSTR2 reconciliation. Open GSTR2 report from Display More Reports, GST Reports, GSTR2. Or from Go To, type GSTR2 and press Enter. In GSTR2 report, change the period of the report to the period for which GSTR2A file has been downloaded from the portal for reconciliation. To reconcile books data with that downloaded from the portal, click Import in top menu or press Alt plus O and select Load JSON. Select Downloaded JSON file by using the option Specify Path or Select From Drive. Select the file and press Enter to load the JSON. A message is displayed with the details of number of invoices that were loaded from the JSON file. You can press Enter or click on Yes to update the reconciliation status. Once the loading is completed, you will see the report like this. For each section of GSTR2, it is divided into as per portal indicated in blue color, as per books in black color. These placements have been done strategically to help you identify whether the values as per books and values as per portal match or not. This screen will also give you the count of vouchers, taxable amount, tax amount and the reconciliation status. Using this information, you will be able to identify mismatch, if any. The mismatches could be due to partial match, where some information of the invoices from books matches with that uploaded by a supplier on GST portal, PESA difference, information is available in portal but not available in the books, Information is available in the books, but not available in the portal. In order to check which transactions are causing the mismatch, you can press Enter on specific section and drill down. We will drill down into B2B invoices. Here too, you will find values as per portal and values as per books are displayed separately. Any difference in values can be identified easily. You can further drill down to see invoice-wise information for each supplier. You can see that one invoice is displayed under available only in books. You can compare the values in each column of this invoice with the corresponding invoice from the portal and identify the value that is causing the mismatch. You will observe 
that the supplier GSTN captured in books is different and therefore it could not be clubbed together. To make the necessary correction in the invoice in your books, go to Available only in books section. Select the transaction and press Enter to drill down into the invoice. Go to party name and hit Enter to open the supplement received details. Press Ctrl A. This will open Party Details screen. Replace the GSTIN to match GSTIN shown in the invoice from the portal and save the transaction. See, now the invoices are clubbed and shown together. Next stop, let us see what is causing the difference in transaction of another party. Here we have two invoices. To make it simple to identify the transaction with the mismatch, it is shown in bold. Details of second invoice are in bold. To see what the difference is, place the cursor on the second invoice and press Shift Enter. The difference is due to invoice value mismatch caused by difference in total taxable value and tax value report in the portal versus what is there in the books. You can verify and identify for which information is incorrect and causing the mismatch. You may check the physical invoice to verify if the details entered in tally are right. In case the information is correct, then you may want to check with your supplier and get clarification regarding these invoices. However, if the information entered in tally is incorrect, you may want to correct it. Move your cursor to the information shown in black and press Ctrl Enter. This will open the invoice in alteration mode. You can now modify the invoice and save it. This will ensure that your books match with that in the portal. You can now select both the invoices of the party and press Alt S to set the status as accepted. This allows you to know that these vouchers are verified and accepted by you. Let us now see a few other mismatches. Here, this transaction is only available in portal. The corresponding book entry is not available. And here, this is only available in books, not in the portal. This is one of the transactions with a perfect match. This again is a transaction with a perfect match. Here you can see that the invoice number is different. And here the date is different. You can similarly go through the transactions to find the differences and resolve them. Thank you. For more information, visit help.tallysolutions.com.